bloody hell. I've been kidnapped by aliens. Why are you looking at me like this? What evil are you thinking? Why is he so hairy? The auntie we kidnapped from Blackburn was much hairier. Do that. I'm going to be late for work. My boss is going to kill me. Okay. You can call your boss one time and tell him you're not going to come to work. Okay. I'll call him. Mm. Only my boss. No one else. Hello, police. You're such an idiot. Hey. Do that one more time and we will use this as an experiment and put it up your bum. Hey, that's my fault. Shut up. I'll call my boss. I promise. Okay. One more chance. Hello boss, come on, where the bloody hell are you? This is the most important day of the chain guns and you're nowhere to be seen. Do you remember you told me to believe in you? Well, you tell me now, where are you? You better have a reasonable explanation for this. I have been kidnapped by hijabi aliens. You're fired. Looks like it's just me and you, Chucky. Okay, dad. Call me dad one more time and I will wrench you till you bleed. He fired me. He cannot get worse than this. Okay, we are ready to start our experiment. We are going to shove all these objects of your bum individually. No, please don't do that! No! No! So we decided to start the day without the doner kebab. Don't worry, I'm sure he's fine. And we started selling this new clothing line called Alema. And let me tell you, it was an absolute hit from the start. You got my change? Yes, of course. <laughs> We had more customers in the chewing gums than you probably have in your local brothel. Ask your uncle. It was our busiest week ever and we felt we were like Newcastle United. Absolutely shit before but now finally rich. And as more and more customers came, I realized that we still had a chance to save up enough money before the deadline so we could buy the chewing gums. You look sexy. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's that man? He just complimented you, at least compliment him back! <laughs> you sexy too, Chan. Hey, hey, what are you doing, man? He's just a kid. That's proper creepy. You going to buy? Good. Uh, keep looking. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, you were looking a great! Honestly, all the women are going to be after you. Astaghfirullah, brother. That's haram. But, uh, you really think so? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Have you met before? You look very familiar. Mm, no. Excuse me, are you a F. Ali Khan? Like, yeah. yeah? Oh, okay. And uh, were you last month the employee of the month in the Thornton Heath uh, Tesco? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, oh. Okay, one second. One second. Uh, never mind. Come again. Thank you. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Chingams. How may we help you? Well, um, do you have this in a uh, extra large? Uh, of course. Can you please get this fine gentleman an uh, extra large from the stock rooms? Yes, boss. Arya. It's very good. Smell it. Smell it. Special. Let me go. Well, now I see you have this in extra large. Um, do you have it in a large? Because my son is actually a large. So why didn't you just ask for a large then? No, I just wanted to see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chucky, can you please get this guy a large because he, he wants to see? Okay, boss. This is a very special, this one. It's very good. It's very, very good. Here you go. Ah, ah. This one is flimsy. <laughs> Cheap quality! This is 100% cotton! Uh, two washes and this one will be finished. Annihilated. Back to gold. I have seen better quality than this one inside the toilet. Hey, shut the bloody hell up! Yeah? You know this is a top grade A quality stuff from the heaven, sir. I went there myself. And look at the price. Why so high? Hmm? Does it come with the house? 
You are giving my wallet a heart attack. Shame is only the wallet. Okay, you don't want it? Fine. Chucky, put this bloody back. Nah. I will keep it. But do you have it in a small? But you said your son's a large. Yes, he is. But I am actually shopping for my nephew. He's a small. Chucky. I'm going, boss. <laughs> Does anyone know CPR? Do you have this one in a yellow with pink spots? Of course I don't have this. Are you are you gonna buy this or are you just wasting my planet charmings? Uh, you don't talk to your customers like that. I am here to buy. I'm so sorry. Okay, please forgive me. Okay, honestly, I'm so sorry. Let's do this. <laughs> but, uh, what time do you close? 6 p.m. Okay, I will come back for it then. Yes. Oh, you can just buy it now! <laughs> Put this back in the stock room! And this on too! It was the final day of the week. And we were so busy that we've actually got enough money to put a down payment on the chingums. I promise you, nothing can go wrong. <laughs> what are you saying, boss? What you sell Nike in? No, we do not sell Nikes, but we do sell Nicks. What? Who the hell is Nick, blood? Blood, that's just some fake counterfeit thing, man. <laughs> You are so cute. I know. Do you work here? By force. That's no good. So tell me, does this shop make any um money? Oh yeah, this week we made a lot of money. Oh wow. That's so cool. Hey boss, you don't come be wearing that fake shit, you get me? I'm a legit r r r r rapper. No, you're not. Yes, I am, rude boy. I can rap about anything, G. Okay, why don't you rap about uh, seaweed? Man's, mm, man's is seaweed. All right, listen, look. I sign command like Freddy. Chop, chop, won't stop. Spray the AK till it gets hot. Kill one man, two man, three man, what? Seaweed and that. Wow. Oh, wow, you're really good. So talented. Uh, are you going to buy anything? Hey, listen, Rupert, this is a stick up. Empty everything in the till or the kid dies. Okay, you can kill the kid, but don't take the money. That's nearly 200 pounds. We mean it, we will kill him. And I accept that, baby darlings. Honestly, it's nice knowing you, my friend. You just gotta take one for the things. You're gonna kill the little you over 200 pounds? Well, 180 to be exact. Hey, babe, we're going Dubai and that. Trust me, Birkin bags and that, jet skiing and that. <laughs> oh, I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah all of that. Hang on, you can't do all of that for 180 pawns. Shut up, you poor pussy. Give me that nick top too. What's going on, boss? Oh, nice of you to join us, Kamran. Hey, why don't you shoot both of them, give me 100 pawns back, and then everyone is happy. Is there any more money? A safe? Tell me or your dad dies. How can you bloody tell them about the bloody safe? Okay? They've taken all the money now! But I didn't want them to kill you! Well, without this shop, I feel dead inside! So they might as well! And where have you been? I got abducted by aliens. And they have been experimenting me all week by sticking up some random stuff in my bum. And you expect me to believe that? I can't even walk proper. Look. The bloody hell. There's blood trickling down his ankles. Well, you might as well walk all the way out of this bloody shop because the last time I checked, you were bloody fired. You let me down. Both of you did. I guess the curse was real. What curse? Yeah, what curse? Remember when we first opened the chewing gums? And that guy was trying to sell his peewee. He was the one who put the curse on the shops. I knew it. That explains everything. Why the shop isn't making money, the gin pig, the landlord giving us a fiction notice, the console fine, alien abduction, and now we got robbed. 
all because of that curse you didn't tell us about. What do you bloody mean? You put us in danger, even though you knew about the curse. You don't care about anyone. All you care about yourself and this shop. Yeah, I care about you. Hey, Chuck, you don't I bloody care? You just told us two criminals to kill both of us. Yeah, but that was because we were gonna take 180 pounds. Am I the only one who sees this? When was the last time you spent some time with your wife? Or even telling your son how proud you are of writing those amazing books? Hang on. That little dumb shit was the one who wrote those books. Yes, but you don't even realize all you care about is money. The fact is, you treat me like shit. Even though I do everything you say. Hey, I'm the best thing that's ever happened to both of you. I lost my wife because of you. You kidnapped this child and took him away from his family. You're not a good boss, not even a good husband, and not even a good dad. You're just a selfish, grumpy old man. Hey, hey, where are you going? Wait, wait. You can have your job back, okay? In that case, I quit. I'm taking Chucky with me. I think you're a good man. And I'll be happy to have a father like you. Let's go. And that was the end of the chewing gums. Gabran finally took Chucky back to his house to reunite with his real family. It was hard, but it had to be done. But the sad thing was, I guess this was really goodbye. The chewing gums family was officially done. After the robbery, we had no more money left to buy the shop. The week was finally over and the time was up. This was really the end of the dream.